His physique was slender to the point of emaciation. His hair was jet black patent leather widow's peak. He looked like Count Dracula's better looking kid brother. Tasty bastard. He wore these zoot flavored gangster suits in some kind of rotatory system. His sense of humor was sharp and slightly sick, and his dress code obsessively late forties. When I went round to his place, there were always at least eight of them on show. Same style, different fabric. Each drape from a tailor's dummy adjusted to his particular chest size, and each topped off with a coordinated fedora plus necktie and pocket square. I have to say, one of the very few Dutch people it was possible to have a meaningful conversation with. Perhaps this was due to the fact that he was from Rotterdam, a blue collar chip on the shoulder kind of town, and not Amsterdam with its flaky anything goes ethos. The late great Rotterdam poet, Jules Dielder. His physique was slender to the point of emaciation. His hair was jet black patent leather widow's peak. He looked like Count Dracula's better looking.